The bobbin cradle is a misunderstood piece of gear if there ever was one. Most people are pretty sure it's out there to hold thread out of the way, but while it's holding the thread out of the way, well, the bobbin cradle is in the way. So as you can guess, people often wonder why that bobbin cradle came with the vise. Well, here's what the bobbin cradle can do for you. Indeed, the cradle is there to hold your thread, but not hold it out of the way. The sole purpose of the bobbin cradle is to keep the thread from wrapping around or unwrapping from around the hook when you rotate the hook. That's it. It's that simple. If you have a rotary vise and use it only to look at the back side of the fly now and then, you might as well take the bobbin cradle off and put it in a drawer. But if you rotate the vise, if you use it to wrap ribs, hackles, bodies, anything where you're faced with the thread wrapping or unwrapping as you rotate the vise, that's where the bobbin cradle comes into play. If you simply bring the cradle into position, hang the thread over it, and begin wrapping, you've solved the problem of thread buildup, or worse, the thread unwrapping, something you've tied off. The only problem then is sometimes the thread seems to chase the bobbin and unwrap. This is solved with a half hitch or a one or two wrap whip finish knot. That's it. From then on, it's wrap and unwrap as you please, and you won't be bothered with thread bumps building up or thread unwrapping. There are several parts involved in the cradle assembly, and they are the cradle itself, found at the tip of the cradle arm, the cradle arm, which is held to the shaft by the cradle support, which is the hub of the assembly and ties everything together. The cradle support tension screw adjusts the swing tension of the cradle arm and the cradle arm lock screw adjusts the length of the cradle arm. The final piece in this is the cradle support collar which keeps the assembly in the correct vertical position. Those are the parts and pieces of the arm assembly. If you make use of the rotary feature of your vise, you'll find this assembly is your friend and you'll be swinging it in and out of position on a regular basis. Probably the most common way of swinging it in and out of position is to simply push it away from you and pull it back when you need it. This was certainly the way I did it for years. These days, it's more common to see me rotating the cradle head away and down, out of my way, leaving the cradle arm in its normal position. I do this because I like to use the cradle arm as a bobbin rest. Either method does what you want by keeping the cradle head out of the way, but close at hand. If you don't want to use the cradle arm as a bobbin rest, the push the arm out of the way method is considered easier. Another consideration is how to hang the bobbin over the cradle head. Some people drape the thread over the cradle head and others put the bobbin tube in the cradle head and let the bobbin tube rest there. Again, both methods will work and you'll find yourself picking one method over the other. And lastly, there is a matter of how far away from the hook eye do you set the cradle head and again, there is no firm answer. But be aware, if you get the cradle head too far away from the hook, you'll find yourself having to rewind your bobbin each time you lift it from the cradle head. So be sure and use that cradle arm lock screw to adjust the cradle arm length to suit your hook. It will make your tying easier and save you a lot of rewrapping. So in summary, remember, the cradle head assembly is there to prevent thread buildup or the unwanted unwrapping of thread when you rotate the vise and the hook. If you use your rotary feature for the wrapping of ribs, body material, and hackle, the bobbin cradle is your friend.